Hello, my name is Edwin. My group and I have made an invention to solve the problem with garbage escaping the trash cans in uh, the traditional trash bins. And our solution is a floating trash can that is adaptable. Uh, as the water rises in Gothenburg, uh, so will the trash cans. So that will allow the people to uh, throw their tra uh, trash in the trash bins. And it will also, also prevent the trash to get out of the trash bin when the water rises. Uh, so this uh, trash can has um, uh, an opening with the uh, plastic platforms on it uh, that when you, when you put something uh, garbage in it, uh, the, high, uh, the garbage will go in and it will stay in because it will lock the hole and so that nothing else uh, goes, comes out of the trash can. Uh, so this is also a uh, hydrophobic surface that will allow it to be waterproof. Um, and our trash can is also um, spinnable and environmental uh, as it has four parts where you can put metal in one trash can and paper in the other. So it's good for the environment as well. Um, yes, well, that's our idea. Uh, hi, my name is Samira, and our group's invention is to make a door that prevents water from coming into the houses and prevent mold and moisture environments, which could lead to illnesses. The solution to this was to make, of course, a well insulated door with a wall barrier to prevent this water from ever coming into the houses. The doors got two peepholes, one, uh, one for grown-ups and one for children, not only for them to see who's come to visit them but also so they could see the water levels um, so the children could see for themselves when it's time for when it's okay for them to step outside and play or if it's too much water they'll stay inside uh, it's got a rubber handle uh, for them to grab uh, which will make it easier for them to grab during wet or hot uh, cold uh, weather circumstances um, and well it's got a wall barrier to prevent it from, uh, from for water to come in but it's also got a flexible ramp for like trolleys to get into the house but it can also be used as an extension so the wall could double its size for, for example, when it's floods and the water levels are rising, so the water, so the water level doesn't get so high, so it floods over the wall. So that's why it's a good extension. Uh, and you, of course, you open the door towards the inside so the water doesn't come in. And because, well, the wall is covering it up, so it won't be easy to open it from the inside. Well, the door itself, is made out of rust-free steel, which is coated off with zinc or copper to prevent it from ever uh, rusting. Well, the unfair advantages are, of course, floods. And we plan to uh, commercialize this product by, ex uh, for example, on uh, home and care fairs and masses, maybe TV ads or perhaps uh, home and uh, decorative magazines, for instance. Well, this project uh, product is, well, more preferred by villa owners or house owners because they want to keep the house clean and uh, make it safe for their kids. Thank you. My name is Jacob and my group have developed Bike and Flow. It's a result of the problem where, where, if, where how to bike in a, a city that's flooded. And the solution of course is Bike and Flow. And it's a prototype bike right now. Uh, we use an electric driven battery 
to uh, drive with a propeller that makes it easier to do go in water and also you're much, much higher up than regular bikes who don't get wet. Um, and that's the purpose, to go all over the city, wherever you want, to streets that are not flooded, that, are is, that is flooded, and so on. The people that we wanted to reach out to is people that's hardworking, have busy lives, want to get somewhere fast without a car or a boat or something that's dangerous for the environment. And, and also people that want to stay fit because it's like regular bicycling, so you get healthy.